Hey everyone, it's Cole from A Plus Power Sports. We have three brand new Trails West gooseneck trailers in stock right now. So the one standing behind me is a 28 foot boondock edition trailer. Um, so this is opted out with no front door on it. It's just a rear ramp loading door. Makes it super easy to get in and out of the trailer and brings that uh, side access door up to the front of the trailer. If you guys want to check out the video on the black 34 foot boondock trailer, uh, we have a link in the description that we'll leave for you guys to watch. Uh, but let's dig into this gray one. So this 28 foot boondock edition trailer has the extreme cold weather package and the boondock edition package on it. So we already talked about we're opting out to not have the front ramp door on it. It's just going to the rear. We have a 40,000 BTU heater in this one along with a 40 gallon uh, fuel cell on the trailer. So when you guys are up riding in the UP or you're taking this trailer out west, um, it's difficult to find gas stops in between. If you need to gas up for the morning, um, our fuel tank, you just fill up right from the front of the trailer here, and you and your buddies can take off for the day with a full tank of fuel. This has the windows up in the front and a window back in the rear, so we have tons of natural light coming into the trailer, but let's take a look inside and see what it looks like. All right, looking at the left-hand side of the trailer, we're gonna notice that our side access door is moved all the way up to the front, so we can easily get in and out of the trailer without having to walk to the back like on the brand editions. This is what's nice with the boondock trailers. Um, we have track rubbers on the bottom here with high grip. So with our snow boots on or just tennis shoes themselves, when it gets icy and snowy out, we don't have to worry about slipping and falling out of the trailer. Um, so it's down right now. If you are trailering this, you just lift it up and lock it into place and it's there and stationary. Once we step into the trailer, um, it's just massive inside here and tons of luxury options. So the my favorite thing with the Trails West trailer is having the option of having the heater. So with the extreme cold weather package, uh, we have a fully insulated trailer and the heater is up front. It's blowing heat out from the side vents here and there's a second heater that's actually pushing forced air underneath the track and the skis of the sleds. You can see the holes in the ground here. This allows the, the snow melt to actually get into there and then there's a gutter trough that actually pushes the melted water to the back of the trailer. So it's not walking around in a puddle inside here. It drains itself very easily. In the side, we have our um, paper towel holder. We got some can holders up here for cleaners, different sprays, stuff like that. On the side, tons of racks um, for helmets up top, helmets on the bottom here if we need to, um, hang your boots, gloves, whatever you need to off the side. And this is for our mono suits and our onesies. So we're able to hang this up and they can drip dry onto the ground and we don't have to worry about having our snow suit just sit in the snow all the time um, in the bottom of the trailer. We have boot heaters up here. So put your boots, gloves, whatever you need to. Um, even up here, they have air that's coming out so it's able to dry your clothing. So you're never gonna be dry riding around in wet, cold clothing in the morning. At the front of the trailer, we have two uh, gooseneck windows on this, which allows tons of natural light to come in. So yes, we have our lower LED lights on and our upper LED lights on the ceiling, but even with those not on during the day, it brings in a lot of natural light for you guys. Um, you can see our kicker subwoofer is up in the front. So this one does have a radio package on it. And then there are four speakers on the interior shell of the trailer. So you can really crank some tunes in here. And if you guys are just hanging out, trying to warm up or eating lunch, whatever you're doing in this, you can listen to music and just have a good time. Some other cool features that this trailer has ordered in it is two high powered vent fans on the ceiling. So you open these up, turn the fan on in the front and the rear. So if you start the sleds in the morning, letting them warm up, of course they're gonna be smoky. Um, just turn these on and it's gonna suck all the fumes out of there. So you can actually move and walk around in the trailer with the sleds running. The windows open as well, so tons of ventilation. So when you are starting the sleds in the morning, you don't have to worry about being uh, choked out by the exhaust fumes. Mirror on the side here with more cup holders. Fuel access doors on the side, so when you pull up to a fuel station, um, you're able to open the doors and gas up the sleds right at the, uh, the gas station. Tons of storage in the Trails West trailers. Cabinet up top here. This one is a heated and ventilated cabinet, so you open it up, throw your helmets, gloves, there's helmet racks up in there, so once you have the heat going, um, you're not gonna have issues of having a wet helmet in the morning. 
more cup holders down on the side, two benches. So when you're getting ready inside the trailer, um, just pop those benches up, put your boots on, you can sit down and get ready and you don't have to be jumping around the trailer in the wet snow. A workbench over on the side here and all these just flip up really simple. So you pop them open. If you have to work on the sled for whatever reason, it's nice to have a workbench or just another um, spot for storage if you're sitting stationary for the weekend. This grab bar up here is actually for um, you can put winches, ratchet straps, whatever you need to, and you can actually lift the rear end of the sled. So if you have to work on your track, bogey wheels, or the front end of the sled, and you just need it up in the air, hook it right here. And these uh, rings are actually movable, so you can work on the sled easily right next to the workbench. More helmet racks in the rear and hanging racks on the side. Tons of USB charging ports on both of the cabinets here. So if we have communicators, BCA radios, different things like that, you can plug them in and just keep them up here charging. So you're not gonna have problems with dead batteries. And then also on the floor, as you can see, we have our ski guides and our track grabbers on the rear of rear ramp there. So not gonna have problems slipping, getting up into the trailer, and we're not gonna ruin our floor with our sharp carbides with these um, track mats that are down, excuse me, ski guides. All right, the next trailer I'm excited to show you guys is a 34 foot Chris Barant edition. So this is a, just a massive gooseneck trailer, tons of room for your sleds, but the big differences are on the inside of the trailer. So let's take a look. All right, the biggest difference between the boondock edition, like I just showed you on the charcoal gray trailer and the big white 34 foot Chris Barant edition is going to be our drop down door in the front. So this makes it easy to unload in the morning. If you wanna pull your sleds in, you can quickly just get them back out on the side. All of the Trails West trailers have these really nice locks on them. They are lockable on both of the locking pins right here, and you'll get your set of key when you buy the trailer. Um, grab handle on the side here, and the cool thing that Trails West is doing is they don't have cables and an upper sprung spring just like some of the other trailer brands we carry. All of it is tied in through the bottom here. So our springs are actually coming from the bottom. So it is an assisted door, but you're not having to worry about wires um, hanging off the side and getting tangled in those. On the interior, the Boondock and the Barant Edition look very similar to each other. Obviously, we're going to notice we have the massive front ramp door. Um, so we can get in and out of the trailer very easily with our sleds. But on the interior, yes, we still have the extreme cold weather package as this trailer was ordered with. So two 40,000 BTU um, heaters in it, pushing air through the floor to melt the tracks, the snow on the tracks. And then we have a radio up there, heated and ventilated helmet storage cabinet so we can dry everything off during the night. Track mats are on the back of them. So we have track grabbers get in and out on the ramp doors. Um, ski guides on the floor tie down D-rings up on the front and middle of the trailer here. So plenty of tie down points to strap the sleds. Two sit down benches. So when we're getting ready in the morning, we don't have to be um, standing and trying to get our boots and uh, snow pants on. Makes it a little bit more comfortable in here. So we are looking at floor lights, LEDs on the side. The ceiling has LED lights on it, so you can really get in here and work if you need to. One thing you'll notice with this trailer, it has the workbench and the sit-down benches on the side of the trailer, but in the rear, this one was optioned to not have um, the rear strap, so we can actually work on the sled. Still can work on the sled, plenty of room, plenty of light inside, but we don't have the capability of picking them up um, from the ceiling. All right guys, that's a quick look on the three gooseneck trailers I have in stock right now from Trails West Manufacturing. If you guys wanna see them in person, come over to A Plus Power Sports. We are located in Southern Wisconsin, but I have three of them here and I have more on the way that will be here before riding season. If you guys like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. If you wanna see what I have in stock right now, check out aplusride.com to see my full list of current inventory. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. And as always, thanks for watching.